Tansri Razali Ismail, Executive Chairman of Punchak Niaga Holdings, Technology CEO of the Year, Global 2011. Many congratulations on receiving the World Finance Award for Best Environmental Services Technology Company, 2011. I would like to thank uh, World Finance who give us this award for the best environmental services technology companies. And I'm sure all my staff, my management staff and my country are very proud. And uh, we uh, in Puncha Niagara holding Brahats uh, would like to thank all the members of the jury and uh, once again to World Finance who choosing my company to receive this uh, award in for 2011. Thank you very much. Thank you. Punchak Niaga has played a very important role in the growth of Malaysia's economy. So how would you define its role in the life of the nation? We has been uh, play an active role in water and uh, wastewater uh, engineering business for the last 15 years. We are so-called water specialist company in Malaysia. And uh, for the last uh, 15 years, we are playing very important role in uh, Malaysian economy because uh, under the leadership of previous Prime Ministers, Tun Dr. Mahathir, they established or implement the privatization policies. So being the pioneer in uh, water and wastewater uh, industry, and also we have, we are the largest environmental company. We have two, 200 engineers who has been uh, involved actively in managing the water, wastewater environment. So we are also play a very important role in helping the nation uh, especially on the new economic model that designed by the new uh, Prime Ministers. So we are proud to say that we are the leading companies uh, in Malaysia who has chosen by the government also to, to help and, and to increase the water supply in the countries. In business, this is shaping up to be the Asian century. So what's Punchak Niaga's vision across the region. We have been actively involved in other parts of the world, especially in Asia. So we have been in China, we have been uh, play an active role in India, and uh, we, have, we have managed to complete few, few projects successfully, successfully in India. And we have our operation in, in uh, Saudis, and uh, recently we have our office in uh, Cambodia and Vietnam. So with the strength that we have, with the expertise and experienced staff that we have, and with the uh, financial strength that we have, so we believe that we will play an active role in uh, helping other part of uh, Asia country who need the expertise to develop their water resources and also to address the environmental problem which is now more serious and also need to be addressed efficiently and more uh, economically. Yeah. Indeed, we're at a very important point in the company's development, not least because you're venturing into the oil and gas sector. Yeah, so we finally make uh, a decision to also involve in other business which is not to say similar but have some kind of similarity in certain part of the business. So we choose oil and gas as our uh, next business that we want to do. Because uh, for example uh, in, in the pipeline system, so in water business so we actively involved in uh, putting up the pipeline, change the pipeline, clean up the pipeline and so on. So in oil and gas, we find that there's a, there's a similar thing that we can do, but there's more sensitive and need other part of experience. So we 
the board had made decision to embark into a new oil and uh, business. So we choose oil and gas business as uh, the business that we think we can do. Uh, we can do, and also we hope this business can contribute to the earning of companies. Yeah. You've also been investing not just in technology, but in human capital, corporate governance, and so on. So we have a lot of program. Uh, uh, for example, uh, in educate the people how to uh, save the environment, how to make sure that the river is still clean because we extract water from the river for our drinking purposes so the community must aware that uh, without uh, protecting the environment without protecting the rivers so we at the end of the day we don't have any resources for our drinking waters and we also have a program that we help a poor people uh, those who are unable to pay the water bill. So we subsidize their uh, water bill. We give them uh, also uh, donation for their families to send their kids to school. We also have a program in helping the handicapped people. And, uh, and also we are also helping uh, new uh, company who want to do business in water and related industries so that they also can grow with us. Finally, when investors are looking at this region and at this sector, what should they be taking into account? The most important factor that many investors are looking at when they want to invest or they want to start their operation in this region. Normally they're looking at the political and economic stabilities of the countries. And uh, the second thing that they will look at the policies. And of course the bottom line is how they want to, whether they can make money or not, and how they repatriate their income back to their countries. And how friendly the people are. I think this is the the few factor that any investment or any investors want to come to this region. As we can see, Asia is growing up and is, uh, is good for any company want to start business, want to do business, and I think they can make money. Yeah. Tan Sri Rosali Ismail, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.